guys. Apologies for my makeup free palette today. We've just had a huge English breakfast, so I'm feeling rather stuffed and not able to move from this chair. So anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make some Shrek themed cupcakes um, with a green coloured swirl in them with Shrek ears. So the first thing you need to do is make the ears maybe two or three days beforehand so they have time to harden up um, before they, you put them in your on your cupcakes. So you need some green fondant, you need some white fondant to mix in to give it that kind of pale shrek colour. And you need a bit of either sugar cell or tylo powder which makes the fondant harden um, quicker than it would normally. And then you also could use these little tools here, um, which you can get in a pack of three with the little wheelie thing from Hobby Craft, this thing here. I don't know if you can see those. So you can get a pack of three of those, and they're quite useful for um, basically for shaping and crafting fondant to make it look how you want. So Grab yourself a piece, obviously if you're just making ears, you don't need that much. So just grab yourself a piece of the green and then get yourself a piece of the white and just mix them in together. Um, if you're unsure about how to mix fondants quickly and how best to do it, um, if you subscribe to my channel, Bessie's Bakery, I've got a video there um, on how to mix fondants. I've mixed my green and white fondant together to get this kind of colour here, but I'm thinking it doesn't look shrecky enough. So I'm going to add some um, food colouring to it, which is kind of a lime colour. Um, so I'm just going to put a tiny little squirt, like the size of a couple of pinpricks, just in the sugar paste. I'm just going to um, mould it in. Okay, so I've made one um, ear to show you what we're aiming for. So it kind of looks like that. So it's kind of like a cone with a little hole, shrecky hole in the middle. And then once you've made one and you've got it how you like it, how you want it rather, <laughs> Um, you pop it on, get some electronic scales preferably, not um, the other sort, <laughs> I don't know what they're called, non-electric, um, just so you can weigh how much one is. So that is 16 grams. So then you know that you need to make all the other ears out of 16 grams so that they're equal. So I'm making, I'm making four cupcakes because I'm doing um, various other ones with them. So I've just got um, the remaining ones that I need here. Um, I can't count seven, so we've got eight, which equals two per cupcake. So just put your lay out your balls on the <laughs> on the table. Sorry, I can't seem to stop making innuendos today. Um, so then you just Roll, roll, warm them up in your hands and um, just make a ball by rolling your hands together like this. Um, and then a basic rule of sugar craft, you can make anything from a cone. It's a good tip that. So you heard it here first, probably not. So basically you put your two palms together like this and if you just roll them side to side you'll end up with a kind of cone shape like that which is kind of similar to that and you're going to use use this tool with the little ball on the end to make the ear hole so just press it into the middle make it sort of go sure it's the same length as the other ear. Um, obviously 
don't worry too much because they'll be sticky in frosting anyway so you can make sure that they look even even if they're not so just make the cone shape with your hands again to smooth it out and then pop the ball in again and just have a look just check that it looks all neat inside and that is basically how you make your shreki so just you can just smooth it over because it will be all warmed up just smooth it over with your fingers just to make sure it's smooth um, which you can do when the fondant is kind of warm so they're quite quite malleable at that point and this one because it's got the sugar cell or the tile powder in it for the amount, this amount of sugar paste is probably about, um, well I'll tell you actually, that's about 100, 150, so it's about 200 grams of sugar paste I've used and I put about half a teaspoon of that sugar cell in and I made this about 10 minutes ago and it's already starting to harden, um, which would take longer to do if you hadn't put that in which is good in a way because it lets you, it allows you to keep the shape that you've made because if you hadn't put it in the kind of ear the ear hole would sort of start to collapse in and it wouldn't harden as quickly so you'd lose the shape um, which is why that is good stuff to invest in um, and that is your lovely ears so I'll show you how to frost your cupcakes as well um, you need to make a batch of well however many you want really of vanilla cupcakes or whatever flavour. I'll just show you what these look like close up um, so you can kind of see there and then just lay them on, get some grease proof or baking parchment and line a box with it, maybe one of your Amazon parcels, we get a lot in this house and um, just pop them in there on the parchment paper and they'll harden in the in a day or two. Well, they'll harden pretty much in a couple of hours, but you can do them ahead of time so that you um, don't have as much to do on the day of your party or event, whatever it is. Let me show you how to frost your Shrek cupcakes. So I've just got four here that I made earlier, um, and I'm gonna frost them with this little tip Gem 3R tip um, and it's just, you can see it's just got a, um, what would you call that, just a circular hole in it rather than any of the fancy schmancy ones. So it's quite a big one, it's a Gem 3R it says on here, you can, but I mean any round tip like that will do. So uh, you just chop off your, line up your tip with the icing bag and just chop it off there. So then you put your little tip in the icing bag um, and just squeeze it at the end so that it's all flush um, so that no icing comes out of the side, you want it all to come out of the tip. Then just fold the bag over your hand like so a little stir around your hand. So then you just want to pop your icing in for however many cupcakes, roughly a tablespoon per cupcake I would say. So you need a batch of vanilla frosting. Um, I've just got enough for four here because that's all I'm doing. And then you get your colouring um, and I've got a nice lime green one here so to make it look kind of like Shrek. Um, and I'm just going to squirt a small amount in here. You don't need too much. I'll show you how much to put in. So that should be plenty. And then you're ready to just mix it up. So just mix it up with a spoon. Now I've just popped a tiny little bit, tiny squirt of... Um, the, a darker green colour, um, just so it looks a bit more shrecky. 
Okay, so that colour's slightly darker now, so I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to pop this in my icing bag. So when your icing's in your bag, just give it a shake down to the end and then just squeeze out all of the air. So what you do, just start in the middle and just gently squeeze, swirl it round and then come back in. And that's kind of how you want it to look. I'm going to just flatten down the top. So it looks nice like that. Gorgeous. Now you're ready to put your ears in. So just get your two ears um, and pop them in one side, push it slightly in the cake. So you've got one there and then on the other side as well. like that. So here we have your simple but effective Shrek cupcakes. I hope you like them. In the next couple of weeks I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make this lovely big white rose with the pink dusting on it and it will look just gorgeous.